Today the wildlife officers are heading back to the forest to help a poor giant sustaining grievous all over his body. It is believed that the elephant had been hit by a trap gun and had been injured about 1 month back. Villagers had alerted the officials that they had seen the elephant limping and after a search of several days the elephant was located. Although the elephant is in severe condition he is not docile towards the strangers. Therefore sedation is essential prior to closing inspection and starting the treatment. Before entering into the thick dark forest they prepared the sedative drugs in advance. Armed with the necessary equipment and medicines the team entered into the deep forest. They could spot the distressed giants through the thick vines and bushes. They darted the elephant taking the aim. Once immobilized they were able to conduct a proper medical examination and provide dressing for his wound. But unfortunately the elephant was fallen in to his knees and the head hit on the ground. This is an extremely dangerous posture for an elephant's health. It was crucial that the elephant was made to lie on the ground because the huge weightage on the front part of the body may cause severe damage to the internal organs of the elephant. Therefore they had to take immediate actions. The officers pulled the elephant backwards to land the elephant into the ground to balance the body weight. Thereby they prevented a fatal accident to the elephant. There was a deep puncture wound in the back area of the elephant. The wound was festering badly with pus dripping out of the wound. It has been infected by the maggots and flies that were hovering around the wound. There was another grievous wound on the front leg too. The wound was too old and it was infested badly with maggots and flies that were hovering around the wound. There was another grievous wound on the front leg too. That wound is too old and it was severely infected. The elephant was succumb to several other internal injuries all over its body. They started dressing the smaller wounds with antiseptic ointment. The elephant was severely weakened and old in age. therefore they had to be careful and cautious about immobilizing the elephant it is dangerous to keep the elephant completely immobilized for a long period under this condition The veterinary surgeon detected 
that pulse rate of the elephant has dropped down. Therefore, the veterinary surgeon decided to give half of the dose of revival drugs in advance to regain the normal palpitation. They gave half of the dose because the operation hasn't ended yet. There are several fatal injuries and still has to be treated. Meanwhile, they administered injectables containing painkillers and anti-inflammatory medicines to ease the pain. Antibiotics were also administered to boost the immunity to expedite the healing process. Saline and hydrogen peroxide were poured in the deep seated wound and the wound was thoroughly cleaned. The narcotic areas were also removed. Liquid antibiotics swabbed deep within. Hello? Pulse rate was calculated by touching the trunk. Iodine solution was applied on the wound. Negasant powder was sprayed to prevent the maggot infestation. The wound was externally smeared with antiseptic fly repellent ointment. Suffering from injuries and infections, the condition of this wild elephant was so miserable. Especially when it considered the wild elephants. Their situation became more grave and they can't express their pain and many wild elephants die silently in the forest without being noticed by anyone. As the initial treatments are over for the first day, the veterinary surgeon administered the rest amount of revival drug to the ear vein of the elephant. He flapped the ear of the elephant to expedite the incorporation of the revival drug with the bloodstream. As the elephant is very old and his condition was severe, it is not wise to keep this elephant recumbent for a long time. Therefore, the sedation should be reversed as soon as possible.
After a strenuous effort, the elephant woke up and staggered to his feet. His condition will be continuously monitored and the elephant is to be treated continuously until he gains complete recovery.